hello guys in this video we will try to understand how we can create the threads and what are the method of threads and then you know we will start with the coding part of threading so how to create a threads there are two ways you can create the thread any class like whatever class you write we call it as a concrete class okay any class when you extend uh, by the thread class when you extend to the thread class you can create a thread or any class by implementing a runnable interface okay either by implementing a runnable interface or by extending a thread class you can create a thread now uh, the thread class has uh, four constructor okay one constructor which has no argument one constructor where you can give the name of the thread one constructor where you can supply argument as a runnable interface okay one constructor where you can supply argument as runnable interface and one uh, constructor where you can supply runnable interface as well as you can give the name of the thread so these are the four uh, constructor which uh, I mean we have in the thread class and we can make the four kind of object by using this constructor right now what are the methods of thread class and after this we will try to understand all the methods through coding so these are the important methods of thread class run method the access is public and the return type is a void okay is used to perform action for a thread okay so main return type is a void access is the public then a start method it starts the execution of thread jvm calls the run method on the thread right then slip method slip method whenever you will call slip method basically it will slip your thread for the durations whatever milliseconds you have given it will just slip your thread then join method it will wait for a thread to die so whenever you call join method on any thread it will wait for your thread to die which means it will wait till your thread will complete the job then join method you have you can uh, wait for your thread to complete the task for certain milliseconds which you can supply by uh, uh, you can use join argumented method where you can supply the time in milliseconds you have get priority this will return the priority of the thread like what is the priority it is a mean priority max priority or normal priority that we can get it by the priority method then we can set the priority also uh, and priority we can uh, set by giving uh, integer number it's a 0 5 10 okay 10 is very high 5 is uh, actually medium and zero is low right get name we can get the name of the thread okay by calling the get name method we can also set the name of the thread by calling the set name method current thread this will basically will give you the reference of running thread okay and the return type is a thread okay get name return type is a, a string get priority return type is an integer set priority return type is an integer now get id this will give you the id of the thread and the return type is an integer access is public now get a state return the state of the thread like what is the current state and the return type is thread dot state is alive is alive will tell you whether your thread is alive or dead okay return type is a boolean yield yield causes, causes the currently executing thread object to temporarily pause and allow other thread to execute right so whatever your thread is running if you will call the yield method it will pause the thread and it will allow other thread to execute right return type is a void is daemon so daemon is nothing but your you know worker thread user thread okay and the return type is a boolean it will check for each daemon or not we can set the daemon also we can make any thread as a uh, user thread by by putting true uh, to this argument interrupt will interrupt the thread return type is a void is interrupted so let's say you want to check that any thread is interrupted or not you can uh, use by calling is interrupted method return type is a boolean now interrupted you can uh, you can actually call this method to check that if the thread is interrupted and again the return type of this method is a boolean now in next video we will start with the coding and we will try to understand how we can make the thread and uh, what are the ways we can create the thread and we'll try to understand all the method one by one thank you guys thank you for watching this